video, I'm going to show the steps to install Rancho Desktop on a Windows machine. For those who don't know what Rancho Desktop is, it is a simple desktop app for Kubernetes and container management in your local desktop environment. At the time of this recording, Rancho Desktop is available for Mac and Windows operating systems. And this video covers the installation process for Windows environment. Okay, in order to install the app, let's go to Rancho Desktop homepage, homepage first, which is ranchodesktop.io. On this page, you'll find all the basic information about Rancho Desktop, such as what is Rancho Desktop, what's the purpose of Rancho Desktop, some architecture details, what's under the hood, etc. Okay, and on the top right corner, you'll find link to the GitHub page of Rancher Desktop. And Rancher Desktop is an open source project. The source code is maintained on GitHub. Like most open source projects on GitHub, you can file issues for bugs, new feature requests, improvements, and so on. And if you are a developer interested in contributing to the project, you can create pull requests, etc. Okay, now coming to downloading the installer, let's go to the releases page. And again, at the time of this recording, the latest release version of Rancho Desktop is 0.3.0. And here you'll find a short description of what's included in this release. Now, if you scroll down a bit under assets, this is where you'll see the binaries for Mac and Windows operating systems. Since we are installing on a Windows laptop, I'm going to click on Rancho Desktop Setup 030.exe. Okay, the download started. Shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. All right, the download is complete. Now, before running the installer, um, a quick prerequisite check. So Rancher Desktop needs um, or uses Windows subsystem for Linux version 2 or WSL2 in the background. And in order to install and run WSL2, so the basic Windows version requirement is this. Okay, so the version should be 19.03 or higher, and the build number should be 183.62 or higher. Okay, let's make sure we meet this requirement. In order to do this, I'm going to run win work command and if we look at the version 21H1 and the bill number 19043 clearly meet our requirement. Okay. Now, since we meet the prerequisite requirement, let's start the installation. Okay. Agree. The installation again should take a few seconds. Right in the background, the installer installs a bunch of handy CLI tools such as kubectl, helm, kim, and so on. Okay, looks like the installation is complete and is recommending to reboot the laptop. I have restarted my machine. Now I see the Rancho desktop app icon on my desktop. Before launching the app, let's make sure the virtual machine platform option and the Windows subsystem for Linux options are enabled on this machine. To check that, I'm going to bring up the Windows features menu and quickly make sure the virtual machine platform option is selected 
and the windows subsystem for linux option is selected as well most likely these options are selected already but let's just double make sure these options are selected because ranch of desktop needs these options to be enabled okay now let's start the app sometimes it takes a few seconds for the app to download and start kubernetes looks like the app is starting kubernetes at the moment let's give it a few seconds okay looks like the app is ready for use now let's take a quick look at each of these menus okay the menus look as expected now let's open up a command terminal and run a bunch of quick commands to check if we are able to interact with the kubernetes cluster let's start by running kubectl version okay the output looks good kubectl get nodes maybe looks good kubectl get namespace Oop. looks good as well okay as a next step i have a sample nginx deployment set up on my machine so let's try to deploy this app into our cluster okay to do that i'm going to open up another command terminal here and run a bunch of commands let's start by creating a new namespace all right the namespace created and run a command to deploy the app okay this command is successful as well let's take a look at the pods in the namespace all right now i'm going to run one last command to do the port forwarding all right now if we open up the browser and type in localhost 8080 we should see the nginx app landing page okay that means our deployment is successful all right with this we have installed the rancho desktop app on a windows machine and we have run a couple of checks to make sure everything is working fine um, and that's all for this video thank you for watching and watch out this space for more updates and tutorials on rancher desktop thank you